Hi guys, Frostfang, Sam, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. It's a little bit late, so today is going to be a bit more of a chilled video for you. It'll be going out at the usual 6 or 7 GMT whenever I end up being able to schedule it for. We're going to be doing 12 odd today because I asked you a couple of videos back to just spam me with requests of what you guys wanted to see. Bomb King was the one that I just went ahead and did because he was requested like mental. 12 odd also was, other than that, I saw Andro and Dredge requested a decent amount, even though I, I just played Dredge, so I'm not going to do that one again but I might do Andro sometime soon because a bunch of you guys were asking for that. If there's anything else you want to see me do, drop a like on the video and let me know in the comments. Just spam it as much as you want. Because <laughs> so I'm trying my best to kind of memorize who are the most requested characters so I can get around to playing them sooner rather than later. I really should have like a spreadsheet or something that keeps like the date of when I last played the character on the channel in. That was a terrible explanation, but I should have like a spreadsheet with all the characters in it and then just have like the date of when I last played them because that would really, really help me with what I'm trying to do. But yeah, we're doing Torvald today. We're just going to be doing a standard loadout. Another reason why I wanted to play him specifically is because I got this skin for him and I haven't actually played with it in game yet so I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm guessing we have a red bubble and a red ult. I think we do. I'm not really sure. This skin's kind of old. Torvald hasn't had a skin in like a year it feels like. I can't remember the last time he had one. I think it was this or was it Clockwork? I don't know but it's been ages. So hopefully Torvald gets a skin soon. Probably going to be going for Field Study or Thanks Grandpa. Those are the two that I tend to stick with with the loadout that I don't think has changed since the last time I showed you. It's just movement speed on our queue, reduced cooldown, extra health and then the other version of the loadout has CC reduction in it, which gets rid of that little bit of extra health and has to lower the level down a little bit, obviously. I do like playing Torvald. He's a pretty safe pick for me. He's not really available all that much in rank because he's banned a hell of a lot. It really does show you who are currently like the most dominating characters because Torvald is banned all the time because of his bubble. Kaon is banned all the time because he's also got a similar sort of thing with a damage buff, CC reduction, and all that stuff. You see Dredge banned a ton. You see Andro banned a ton. Those characters have been banned for a while now. His eyes are terrifying. Oh my god. If you look at him when he actually looks back at you, that's a little bit scary. I don't feel safe. We're playing Siege Jaguar Falls, which is a pretty good map for him. Hopefully we can knock one or two people off the map, because there's three different sections where we can do it without too much trouble. I guess I should go ahead and use a booster. I'm not even able to, because Andro's already used one. Shoutouts to Akalon. I appreciate it. Yeah, shout out to Plexi the Star as well, because I'm pretty sure I've played with him in a previous game, because I recognize the name. So we've got Plexi on Victor. We have Damba. We have Makoa. We have Andro. So we've got double tank, damage, flank healer. Really, really standard on there. So they have Dredge, Barak, Genos, Drogo's Sky. A lot less conventional there. They have Dredge and Drogo's as damage, Genos as healer, Barak as tank, and Sky as flank. But the game just got disconnected. Oh, okay, sure. Scratch everything I just said. I'm playing Siege Splitstone Quarry and with completely different people. We have Houdini, who I've played with before. We have this person, who I think I played with before, and possibly Genos. I know I played with Houdini. I played with him like three times in a video. Now, what's this matchmaking? Yeah, your guys' support on the channel recently has been really, really cool to see, so I do really appreciate that. I say that a ton, and I feel like it's lost a bit of its meaning because of the fact that I've said it so much, and obviously it's a pretty stereotypical thing YouTubers tend to say, but I wouldn't really be doing this as enjoyably, if that makes sense, if it wasn't for you guys. So I really do mean it when I say thank you, because it really does mean a hell of a lot. Anyway, we've got a Victor, we've got a Koga, we've got a Pip, and a Genos. Double healer, although Pip's more of a damage than a healer. Koga's flank, Victor as flank, very similar team to last time, and their team is now more conventional than it was before. Vivian, Khan, Sky, Dredge, Damba. So they have healer, double damage, flank, tank. We have, yes, yeah, same sort of thing, really, if you consider the Pip a damage character, then it's basically the same. So it's the loadout already gone through that, so I don't feel the need to cover it again. Let's go ahead and hit the inspect. Looks a little bit low res. His hand looks like it's made out of plasticine. Again, there's a couple skins that have this in Paladins, and it's a little bit weird. The rest of the hand looks fine, but for some reason, the actual part on his wrist looks really, really weird. What are the weapon shots like? Oh, they are red. Oh, they've actually got like a little symbol in them. That's cool. Okay, it's redeemed it. I do really like that. His hands, oh, they're so creepy. Is the shield blue? Yeah, it is blue. It's not red. I thought it might have been red. It's not. It's still blue. It's just got a little bit of an imprint into it. Yeah, a shield is blue. That's really strange. I was expecting the shield to be red, but I guess not. Do I want to push on the point? I'm a solo tank, so I feel like I should, but at the same time, I don't want to die. These seem like they're a lot bigger, but they're clearly not going to be changed in size. They're clearly going to be the exact same size. Uh, F has a nice little effect going on it too. I'm just getting absolutely battered here. Do we have a healer? Yeah, we have a Genos and a Pip. They both weren't throwing heals on me. Let's throw a thing on Koga because he's going to be really strong once he gets the buff. Look at the effect on our hand when we hit F. That's so cool. I want to see what the nullify looks like, but I'm probably going to end up dying again really, really soon because I'm still waiting on those heals. Genos, Genos, do you want to chat me one? 
Thank you. Okay, cool. That, that took way, way longer than it should have. I guess cooldowns exist, so I shouldn't really complain, but that felt like it was a little bit longer than the cooldown of visibility. What's the right-click look like? There we go. It's still blue. Why is it still blue? That doesn't match the skin. <laughs> Pip just said, I'm drunk. I guess we've got a bit of an excuse for Pip. I wonder why he choose to play Paladins while smashed. I'm not really sure. Maybe it makes it more fun. I've never personally tried it. But I wonder why they've made some of the effects on this skin blue. I remember them all being red, but I think my memory is just wrong, because I remember the, the right click being red and I remember the bubble being red but I think they maybe changed it just so stuff was easier to understand maybe where's this guy let's just there we go Victor dealt with her. I didn't even have to do anything we've got the cap don't really know how we got the cap we are playing pretty damn badly and the annoying thing is Vivian's gone for sap arounds I knew that without even checking I said it before I even checked because of the fact that my shield is gone anytime she looks at me pretty much I kind of expected her to go for it. that shield on Koga there making a decent difference I'm not used to playing Torvald I haven't really practiced him or anything for this video that's why I wasn't predicting my shots well enough there. Yeah, like I was saying before, I, I kind of cut myself off. This Vivian really sucks. She's annoying as hell to go against. I can't really do anything with my shield when this Vivian looks at me because she's got sap arounds and they also have two wreckers. You know, just in case a bonus 300% damage in total to my shields wasn't enough or just 150% wasn't enough, I mean. They've gone ahead. They've got 150 extra for wrecker and then 150 extra from her legendary card. Fantastic. We're probably going to have more deaths than usual in this video, so do note that, but we're also probably going to have more shielding than usual because I am getting my shield completely depleted any single time some Somebody engages with me. Is there even any point in me getting Kronos? I don't feel like there is. I feel like I should just go for Haven and stuff now to avoid taking actual damage instead of like trying to get my shield up more often because they're clearing it so fast. Managed to just about keep that pip alive. I see you, Sky. You think you're slick. I wonder if the ult's going to be blue or if the ult's going to be red. It's really, really strange that this skin seems to have mixed colored effects. I don't think I've seen that before. It feels like everything should be red because there's no blue on the actual skin, but I guess they're going with that. We just went ahead and buffed him. There's no point in me using my ult here. This map isn't really that great for it because there are the grinders and stuff on the side of the map but I'm not really going to be able to get to that right now as we're pushing let's buff the Koga I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job my job today is to throw shields my job is to hit Q throw shields on people oh that's an immune Khan there's a buff on you can we mow him down no we cannot or maybe we can F yes I'm still alive there goes my shield I'm dead <laughs> This is a really tough situation for me to try and show off Torvald to you guys because of the fact that they have way more quarter eyes than usual. Not quarter eyes, Wrecker. Oh my god. But the thing is, usually in a situation like this where there's only one quarter eyes in the entire game, I think she's probably going to have it in her loadout. Yeah, she is. So two quarter eyes. There's two quarter eyes in this whole match right now. We have two healers. We have a, well, the Pip only has like his Q, which doesn't heal for much. So we have one healer, Genos, and he's not doing a great job of actually getting heals on me. He's doing it occasionally. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I am so dead. There's not even any chance of me surviving when you get grabbed that close to the actual thing on the side of the map. You're just gone when you get grabbed by a Khan. I, I, you know, I did try and place myself so that he wouldn't grab me, but obviously he's going to try his best to. Victor is really trying his best here. Shout out to Thug War. That's a sentence I didn't think I'd ever say. Genos, hit me with that heal, fam. Yes, there we go. Let's go. Let's just go push it. Oh, wow. His health went down fast. Trying to gen my shield. That obviously isn't going to happen. There's a shield on my boy, Drunk Pip. Let's get a heal on him. Nope, that's not going to work. Heal on him? What am I saying? My god, it is late. I tried to hit him with a right click. Victor is absolutely shredding through people. I think that's a triple. Yeah, he got a kill with a nade on Dredge and then he got two with his ult. He really is carrying this match for us right now. He is way, way above the skill level of most people in this game. Let's get a silence on her. Or not. It's just left clicker. There we go. I don't know why she invis as if I think she fell. I've seen people before. I've seen people before who have like gone against a Sky who's picked up by Genos Q and then just fire as if she was able to run away. The invis doesn't cleanse it, so she's still hanging in the air unless you see a drop because that Q from Jones actually lasts quite a while. I should probably pick up Rejuvenate now that I think about it. It would make a lot of sense. Pip is definitely playing like he's drunk because his movement is really, really weird. It's really unpredictable, so it's, I guess, giving him a tiny bit of an advantage. I really would like to use my F at some point, but there's not really a situation where it's going to make sense. Let's kill her. There we go. How the hell am I still alive? There's a shield. Koga just said, oh, snap, it's Frost Fangs. It took him a while to, to call me out, but shout-outs to Sebium, Sebiarm, Sebiarm. I'm not sure, but shout-outs to the Koga either way. Let me go ahead and actually use my ult because I haven't used it yet this game. We're going to position ourselves in a way that lets me possibly knock somebody into the grinder thing. There we go. Dam is going in. Or not. The E is actually, you know, red, so that's kind of cool, though. It has, like, a weird star effect going on with it. Really wish somebody would get rid of that Vivian. It would make my life a hell of a lot easier. Jesus Christ. We capped the objective again. I don't really know how we're doing this, but we capped it for a second time. They literally have 150% plus 225%, so that's 375 plus 150. Luckily, God 
Khan didn't get it as well. So they have how much? 375 plus 150. They have 525 bonus percent to shields. That's absolutely insane, possibly the most I've ever had to deal with as Torvald. That's why I'm performing badly. Koga, go in, fam. I believe in you. Let's get rid of this Khan. There we go. Just about. Oh, no. Sky, please. Please. I have a family full of little Torvalds. God damn it. I still died. Oh, Koga picked her up. Nice. We really do have a good Koga and good Victor because they're carrying this match right now. Let's go ahead. Grab more Haven. That's the only thing that's keeping me alive is the damage reduction from that because my shield of 1,800 is realistically a shield of like a fifth of that. <laughs> my shield just feels like it's worth basically nothing because it's 1,800, which isn't crazy to begin with. Even when you don't have Wreck on your versus at all, well, it isn't crazy to actually deal with him. But now the fact that my shield just can't even be kept up for any time at all when I'm fighting somebody, my shield might as well just be worth a peanut at the end of my health bar. <laughs> Sky has Wrecker, Dredge has Wrecker, and Vivian have Wrecker. The three characters that are going to be dealing damage have Wrecker, which means that their damage numbers are going to be crazy because whether they hit shield or whether they hit me on Torvald, it actually counts as damage. I don't know if it applies on somebody Torvald buffs, but I know if I have my shield on top of my health bar, it's just classed as a normal health bar. I know that for like 90% sure. I'm not sure about my Q, but I know for sure my F and just my in general shield. Where is this Sky? I'm spamming my right click, but I'm not able to link with her. I don't know where she's at. I'm throwing my Qs on people. There's my F. Hello, hello, Sky. We finally found her. She's dead. I'm dead. They used two ults to get rid of me, though, so that's fine. Vivian's really, really low. He threw some shots at her, but he managed to miss there. Victor really is trying his best. He's probably going to have a decent amount of damage. Bit of a strange Khan ult there on our Genos midway through the team fight. Bit weird. Should I just ult them to get them away from the point? I don't really know. I guess it's only Dammer on there, so it wouldn't really make sense. He's dead. Just about managed to get that. Throw a Q on him. Let's just look at how fast my shield goes down. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a Koga ult and we've got a Pip ult. Those two combined are deadly, so hopefully they can do something about that. Oh my god, I'm just getting completely cleansed of all of my health as soon as I'm even close to the enemy team. Hello, Dredge. Can't deal with you because he's got wreck and, you know, he was low health and I still can't do anything. There's a shield on him. I'm trying to shield this Victor as much as I can to give him that bonus damage because he's outputting a crazy amount. There's some left clicks. Do I want to ult just to throw her off at that point? I think I might. Let's just see how the ult looks. I've seen it once, but it does have that cool little center thing that looks kind of pretty. There's an air Victor. What are you doing, my guy? I can't really buff you with speed or damage when you're kind of hiding behind walls. He's going in. I'm just taking a beating. Anytime I die and see the Vivian kill cam, she's legit just holding right click and left click on me, and I'm just dying over and over again because of the fact that she outputs crazy damage. There we go. I managed to pick up two kills as a buff on that pit. Let's finish you off. Yep, there we go. Triple. Oh, you son of a... You absolute little face dead. There we go. We do still stand a chance at this because if we do win that last push, then it'll... it'll It'll be 4-3, but I don't know if we're even going to be able to defend it, to be honest. I'm not feeling all that comfortable about it. Let's shield him to make sure he doesn't get a silly death. Sky is just here. Let's finish her off. Victor, let me just buff you. There we go. Got a silence around the corner somehow that dealt... 30 damage to finish her off. Bit of a strange play, but whenever the Vivian looks at me in my dead eyes that I have on this skin, my shield is gone. It's the same with Sky, but Sky doesn't get close to me for very long because we can deal with her. Meanwhile, their gal Victor, not Victor, Vivian, kind of similar, is just hitting me at a range. Pip is absolutely going ham. I think he just got a triple. Let's buff Koga. Defense successful. Nice. Let me just make sure I have my ult fully gened. Yeah, we also managed to get rid of the Dread. We have three ultis. Pip and Genos will also have it up this round, so we do stand a chance. Don't know how high of a chance that is, I'm going to get more of a juvenile, but we stand a chance. That's what matters. Am I going to try and jump on the point? No, Dredge is just going to literally clear my shield with one hit from his reload. Okay, I'm dead from Khan as well. Nice. Wow, what a great round that was. I'm really glad I tried to hold the point there. Khan's obviously going to kill me either way. I can't do anything to avoid that. But the fact that Dredge can hit me with a reload and just clear my entire freaking shield is a little bit ridiculous. I'm just relying on this Vic. That's what I'm doing. We're relying on him. Let's chuck him a shield, see if he can do some work. Really need to clear Vivian if we want a chance of winning this round. I'm going to try and position myself. Oh, Sky, get in there. Sky, just get in there, please. She was like hitting the top left corner. It wasn't enough. I'm not really worth all that much other than the fact that I can throw a shield on somebody. Oh, he died to a dredge right click. That was unlucky. Dredge, I think he's probably going to win him this round just from the pure amount of spam he was able to place on the map there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a loss unless we somehow recover it. Don't know how, but it's worth a go. Am I going to try and run in? That would be a bad idea because I'm just going to die. Look at how fast my shield runs down. Are you ready? to see it. There's my shield. It's up. You saw it? It's gone. Okay, sick. There's a speed buff for 
for Koga, there's GG. I don't really feel like we deserve to win that game because, you know, they play better than us, but, but I feel like I was in a really, really tough situation for this match. I really can't do much with the fact that they had so much Wrecker. I'm basically just screwed. Vivian versus Torvald with Sap Arounds means that my shield is worth nothing. I wasn't really able to do all that well. Our Victor played great props to him. He was trying his best to carry that match. He made a little bit of a foul towards the end of that third round because he did end up dying to a dredge, but he was playing really well for most of that match. The third round just didn't go as well for him. He was a little bit unsure as to where he should be, but I really can't give him any shit whatsoever. He played the best he could. If we'd have done something to maybe move for the Vivian more, we would have probably stood a bit of a better chance because she was just standing on the back for that entire game, really. So a couple things I want to point out before we get into the stats. I have 150k shielding. That's pretty impressive. I'm quite happy with that. But I also want to point out that their damage numbers are going to be completely skewed because they were going against Torvald with so much Wrecker, so it's not really worth all that much. They have a ton of damage because they will do. Let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> oh my god, that makes it so much sweeter. That makes the loss so much sweeter. Even though we didn't win the game, we lost 3-4. Our victor had 174k. He gets a round of applause from me. Well bloody played. He was absolutely shredding them and he was doing really well. Our Koga did okay. He didn't do great, but he did pretty decent. 78k isn't bad. Pip did 83k, which also isn't bad. Genos with 90k healing also isn't bad. Everyone on our team played fine, to be honest. I had 152k shielding, which is pretty decent. It was getting cleared so often that I feel like if they had a little bit less regger, I'd have more shielding because, you know, it'd actually be doing something a lot of the time. I was dying within being able to get my F up once. There's a sweet spot for getting max shielding, and it isn't max tier regger. It's like tier 1 or maybe tier 2 or no tiers at all. I feel like tier 3 regger means your shielding will be high, but it won't be the highest it can be because it's just because you're dying a lot more often. I had 20 deaths that game. That's insane. On their side, their Vivian actually only had 117k, and I'm pretty safe to bet that that was mostly on me. My Haven probably made a big difference on the fact that they didn't have crazy amounts of damage. Their dredge was actually really underwhelming at 53k. That's only a little bit more than me. Their Khan did okay. He shielded for 50% less, but he had more damage and he had more healing because obviously I can't really heal. Their Sky was pretty good. 81k damage isn't crazy though, and their Damba did pretty much the same healing as our Genos. So overall, pretty decent game. I feel like both teams are pretty much on the same tier. It was just the fact that I was being countered so hard as Torvald that it wasn't really a fair fight between the tanks because you can't do anything to counter Khan and his damage buff and his, you know, CC reduction, whereas with Torvald, uh, my Q and my F kind of do nothing when you have max tier Wrecker. I feel like I did a good job of showing off Torvald. Really do like this skin. I'm going to continue to use it. I like the way the ult looks. I like the way the F looks, and I like the way just in general he actually looks in this skin. It's creepy, but it's kind of cool. Only thing I don't understand is why some of the effects are blue, because that's a little bit confusing. Like, it's a completely red and black skin, but your shield on you is blue, and then your shield you put on other people is blue. It doesn't really match with the whole rest of it, so I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if that's been there the whole time. I've only had this skin recently, but it's a little bit off-putting. There you go. I don't really have much else I can say. I feel like I, I did the best I could in the situation. I was given. I had 150k shielding, which is pretty decent. It's definitely not the best I've got. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know what you want to see me do next. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.